Because I'm with you Through thick and thin Whatever trouble you are in I don't care whatever you do Just know that I love you Oh, oh, oh I love you Season 2, episode 28, and we are just in the middle of the worst part of the winter, so I'm sure you're all at home, staying warm and out of the snow. It's snowing right now. It's just lovely, but we're good here. Uh, I want to... Oh, man. Okay. I want to first ask you all to please... Uh, please share this video. There it is. All the way over here today. Please share, because it's more fun to have people in the chat to chat with. I see Alex's mom is here in the chat, so say hello to her. Was it Brenda, I think? Hey, Brenda. Yeah. Hi. We'll say Hi. hey. And of course, all of our regulars in the chat. Uh, but if you're watching this in the future on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I have lots of videos that come out, not just Smoke and Joe show every week, but, you know, Dead Larry videos, Iron Star stuff, personal weird stuff, it all comes up, and it's, uh, you know, I hope you'll enjoy the content as it comes. Uh, last week, we were at Hotel Minnesota, and what a time we had out there. Uh, I had a wonderful time. All the sets were amazing. We have live streams from every performance in the Galactic Lounge, so there are performances by The Dang, Druzy Rose, Renegade, Tom Estrom, Ethereal Rose, Sim 1, and Cypol. We got them all, so check out the Get Down Enterprises Facebook page, Vicarious Visions. You can find our weekend there. Many thanks to our sponsors who make this show possible. Uh, first and foremost, our main stage sponsor at Galactic Get Down, Glass Oak Hemp Jewelry. Glass Oak is joining with Get, or with Get Down Enterprises to sponsor our main stage at the Galactic Get Down. They have handmade hemp jewelry from the finest of Murano lamp work, glass pendants, and beads. Natural wood beads, semi-precious and precious gemstones, and 100% hemp. You can visit their Facebook page at Glass Oak Hemp Jewelry and give them a like with the thumbs up. Also, if you're just sitting there, after you give them a like, make sure to like our guests of tonight, String Dingers, so you can follow them as their album comes out next week. Uh, also, big shout out to Shadow Wind Creations, our longest running sponsor. Uh, exclusive monthly Galactic Get Down Candle Collection. Each month features three unique candles inspired by Galactic Get Down. Buy a candle, support the festival. For more information on Galactic Get Down Candle Collection and all the great products from Shadow Wick, check out their Etsy page, etsy.com slash shop slash Shadow Wick Creations. And I want to personally thank all of my patrons in the Smoking Joe Enterprise Universe, my Patreon. I just got one more, my new one, Brian, just joined last week. I want to say thank you for subscribing to me. I make sure to throw out uh, advance notice stuff, like information that won't come out for a week or two, or maybe even just a day. Uh, shows that I've booked, you know, artists that are playing at the Galactic Get Down. You know, any content I have, I try to put on my Patreon before anybody else can see it. Um, I also have fun things. I send everybody a postcard. You know, I have fun, fun things on my Patreon, and big shout out to Caitlin Paxton, my lieutenant, and my only lieutenant at the moment. Thanks, Ensigns, as well. Yeah, I've got the Star Trek theme, and also, happy Picard Day, everyone. Woo. Picard, this show, uh, the, you know, the, the return of uh, Jean-Luc Picard to the Star Trek world. Very exciting. I've been following it since it was an idea I've been reading about online, and years later, I stayed up until 2 a.m., all the way till 2, to watch it, and it was amazing, and I... I'm very excited for that whole series. All right, without further ado, the weekend get down. What's getting down around town? Weekend get down. Tonight, happening right now, doors just opened at Fruition at the Turf Club. Uh, there, with support of the Mighty Pines, we saw Fruition at Revival last year. Even uh, had some of the members of Fruition come over to the late night jam uh, the night of their performance, which was really cool. Fruition's Wild as the Night conveys the emotions of our darkest and sometimes weakest moments. From the electric pulse of Forget About You to the echoes to the echoes in Sweet Hereafter, a shadow of intimacy looms large over the project, with the experiences of all five band members diffusing across the album. Fruition with the Mighty Pines at the Turf Club right now, $17 if you haven't got your tickets yet. Uh, show starts at 8, so you have time. My mic is right here. My mic is weird. Maybe it's my voice. 
Is it the jacket? Is it my star? My Starfleet uniform? All right, I'll, I'll back it up. Tomorrow, January 24th, barrel room sessions with the efforts with the Will Efforts Collective, featuring members of Frog Leg. This will be at 5-6 Brewing tomorrow night. A, a Will Efforts Collective is a collective of heady hitters, he, heady, heady hitters in the <laughs> Minneapolis music scene. Super heady, bro. We'll be rocking the barrel room of 5-6 Brewing on Friday, January 24th. Uh, so we got Joe Dunn from Frog Leg, Jimmy Geisinger, Geo as well. So a bunch of Frog Leg plus Will efforts. Saw those guys at Hotel Minnesota. That was super fun as well. Only $5 in advance, $8 at the door. Show starts at 8. Bring your ID if you want to drink. Also Friday, Ho Mr. Hotel Minnesota man himself, Mark Joseph, is joining Stephanie Devine live at Umbra in Minneapolis. For over 15 years, Mark Joseph and Steph Devine have shared a musical connection and creative friendship. From their respective bands and projects like The Big Woo, The New Congress, or Down Low, all the way to 2019's blues release, The Musician and The Muse, they are still going strong with over 100 dates a year. Come experience this unique acoustic duo on January 24th at Umbra in Minneapolis and warm up your heart on the cold days of winter. I added the last part. Barbaro is releasing the album too, and that is happening tomorrow. Barbaro is releasing their album at the Cedar Cultural, Ce Cedar Cultural Center with Chicken Wire Empire and Humbird. Barbaro's music is at once lively and intimate, perfect for twirling around the dance floor or cooking with someone you love. Specifically good for cooking. The, the Minneapolis Winona Quartet have built momentum around their dynamic sound, each set flowing naturally between energetic jams and contemplative interludes. Their upcoming album, due out January 24th, 2020, showcases their captivating songwriting, layered over textures pulled from bluegrass, jazz, pop, and country western. Both kinds. Country and western. Oh, Saturday, we're not done with uh, Stephanie Devine. The Divine Trio will be at Umbra, and is a free show, so two nights at Umbra for Stephanie Devine. Uh, joining her on Saturday will be Jessica Larson and Alex Steele, one of my favorite people in the world. And that is on Saturday, no cover. Also on Saturday, uh, which is why I wore my Bad Rad shirt today, also because I've never worn it on the show, there's a big show at Caboo's, which is free if you bring a coat to donate. And I know you all have coats in your closet, they're just taking up space, so bring a coat, donate a coat, get in for free, otherwise it's 10 bucks. But the night features Exotic Matter, Flow State, who's playing at Galactic Get Down this year, was on the show earlier, uh, Laz and Low, Sim One, who's just at Hotel Minnesota, Bad and Rad, who's an alumni, and Hawks. This is Saturday night at the Caboose. They want to give back to the local community this winter through the donation of gently worn or new coats. Each coat donated will gain you free event, admission to the As well as the opportunity to help someone in the local Minneapolis community stay warm in these freezing cold temperatures. The, the, the donations will be allocated to StreetWorks Outreach Collaborative. So that is super cool. I'm going to bring a coat or two. And I'm going to make my wife bring a coat or two. And we'll have some more room in our closet. Angela's watching, Angela's maybe? watching, maybe? Bring a coat? Bring a coat. All right. All right. Also, happening also happening Saturday night, Saturday first, night at First Avenue, first they are featuring the best new band of 2019. Oh, man. It's, uh, info cut off. Hold on. I know Mae Simpson is there. <laughs> I know they're one of them. I can do this. I have the technology. First Avenue, best band of 2019, featuring Fruit Punch Lover Boy, Green Slash Blue, Loki's Folly, Mae Simpson, Moon Vato, Nur D, Under Violet, hosted by Andrea Swenson of The Current, Emma Chekrone, and Katie Powers from Radio K, and Jordan of Go Radio. First Avenue Main Room, tickets are $10 in advance, $12 day of show, it starts at 7. Uh, I know Mae Simpson plays at 10. I know that for a fact. So, best new bands, First Avenue. There are a lot of bands in Minneapolis, I don't know how you'd pick the best new ones. They spring up like weeds. I was just talking about how we're never, never going to run, run out of acts for this show. show. Sunday, Sunday, Charlie Park, almost done with his residency at the Turf Club, uh, January 19th, uh, or no, January 26th, this is the last one, with Ingeborg von Agaz, oh man, Ingeborg von Agaziz, Az Aziz, Agaziz, $12 in advance, $14 day of the show, doors are at 7, show is at 7.30, talking about Charlie Park, <laughs> Charlie Park, Sorry, my, uh, we're having a produ our production team is uh, is uh, dealing with some technical uh, computer. Anyway, next week you can just skip the string dingers. 
That's more important. That's why we're here. String dingers. String dingers. Ding they, they have a senior release party. party. Uh, I'm very happy to have been a part of the planning and execution of this CD release party in Minneapolis. They are proud to announce their second album, Dealing with the Devil. Join them in our in our band. Not to mention, there's a pre-party at Pimento, which is right next door. Oh, I think it's that one. You gotta go over there. Camera one. Not Charlie Parr anymore. We're string dingers now. Yeah. <laughs> We got analog graphics. <laughs> yep, Charlie Pye then. And then Stream. But yeah, and we got Stream Dingers in the studio. They're going to tell us all about the new album. Um, I believe they recorded it with Corey Hess, yeah. uh, which is the uh, same, same engineer that recorded Smoking Joe. It's about time. He does wonderful work and he's an amazing person. Um, Stream Dingers, this is your second album? Yes. And the first single is already out Straws of Straws of Straws of Song. Yeah? Listen to it a bunch recently. How's it going back there, John? You mean to make some stuff up? Let's see. String, string dingers, eh? They're right there. Dingers. Hey. They ding dingers. strings. They, they enjoy uh, the occasional hams. We ding. <laughs> and you know, LaCroix, tea, coffee, many drinks. I'm not moving anymore. Coffee. Is it okay? Is everything okay? Are you just no. you in the past? Are we going? Oh, I'm at String Dingers. Still. There we go. Hey. I'm not moving though. Little. Can you see me move? Let me ask the audience. Can you guys see me move? Nope. Well, they can't. The people that are live here can see me. <laughs> All right. Big birthday bash. Juzy Rose and Topez, Tim Lopez, the man himself, uh, that is at the Turf Club February 1st with Iron Star. Uh, it's $10 in advance, $15 at the door. We are very excited. This will be our second performance in Minneapolis and our fifth performance ever. So I'm excited to get back on stage with Iron Star. How's it going? Hey, there it is. And look, uh, Dizzle Arts made this uh, wonderful likeness of Tim Lopez. You might have seen him at a Space Monkey show looking just like this. And uh, the uh, Prince Purple skyline of Minneapolis. Kind of looks like up, leading up to Oz a bit. Uh, and then, of course, coming up this summer, what ties all this together, the Galactic Get Down. July 30th to August 1st, 2020, once again at Outback Ranch in Houston, Minnesota, featuring Dead Larry, Kind Country, Iron Star, Space Monkey Mafia, String Dingers, Juicy Rose, Feeding Leroy, Flow State, Splimit, The Immaculate Beings, I Reminds, The Bob Pat Band, Smoking Joe Show, live, and of course, tons and tons more acts, artists, and everything to be announced coming up. Our next announcement is uh, we have our visual artist announcement February 3rd, and our full Kahuna announcement on March 1st. So get your tickets before Prices increase. We have nothing, nothing but amazing plans for this summer. String dingers are back. I got, I got some, some awesome things in store with what I'm doing. So many great things to announce. I wish I could tell you. But that's about all we got for the weekend. Get down at this point in time. Thank you for bearing with us during all of our slide, slide adjustments. But we will get to our first video of the week by Confuciusaurus, uh, our sound man of the weekend at Hotel Minnesota. Bryce, this is his band with uh, Sammy Strings, I believe. 
And the name of this song is And Company. This is from the Romer Dome fundraiser we had this weekend at Hotel Minnesota. Uh, to learn more about our fundraiser, to buy our very own dome structure, launch pad for the Galactic Get Down and Beyond, visit romerdomefamilia.com slash telethon to donate. The song is called dot 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 and company. It's a uh, combined duo of the Confuciusaurus band, Sammy Strings and Bryce Tewitt. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How we doing, Hotel Minnesota? This is a song about Jameson. And my tea rope and book prepared. Drinking whiskey makes me tipsy. And you know I like it so fucking frisky. This is a song about my friends. And the good times we had. Too many late nights, six and in the lights. With that guitar solo, I embrace it. Sit my boots because you know I don't have laces. And now I'm chasing, well, I'm embracing. Chasing whiskey while it's dripping down my fucking face. What? And now I'm chasing, well, I'm embracing. Fucking turn up the rock, get on my soul, yeah. This is a song about Jameson. Oh, the 
fucking company. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hello. We are back. We are live. Hello. We are here. Howdy. Hello. Uh, hey, what's what's Hello. Hello. Here. here we, we are. are. Hello. Hello. Good evening. What's up? <laughs> got Alice here. here. Alice, what, what, do you, you, what do you do? I play guitar. He plays guitar. Here's mm-hmm. And I sing. And you sing. You write songs, too? I write songs, nice. yes. Tight. I dig that. I dig that. Brett? Yeah. Me, too. <laughs> He plays banjo. Plus the banjo. I do the guitar thing too. Yeah. So. He plays yeah. Telecaster. Hi, too. Alex's mom. Hi. Hi, hey, Brenda. Mom. Hey there, Brenda. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the moms joining us tonight. All uh, the moms. We love. I love. I love moms. Bruno. That's a big demographic for us, actually. The moms. The moms. Cheers, Social. moms. Country loving mom. Cheers, moms. Boys. Sponsored by Hams. Um, Jack. Yep. Jack, uh, sing. Mandolin and pedal steel. And we got Nikki. Hey. Nick, I'm what do Nick. you do? What could you Nikki, do? Nikki Poo. I play bass. I write some songs. Do you all yeah. write songs? We're, yeah, we all write Good. some songs. That's how yeah. it should be, man. It makes it easier. Nick, right? We haven't done a Nick song yet, but we're working on one, and he wrote it to be hard. Maybe so. like transpose, <laughs> like, yeah, because like transpose it from, you know, uh, you know, uh, Different style is probably used to writing in a different style, Nick, right? A little bit. So, like, getting that into the string dingers world. Yeah. I started with uh, some really sad kind of post-rock influences. And then I started listening to some outlaw country. Pretty much the same. Jam grass, little <laughs> Bill Monroe, et cetera, et cetera. And, yeah, then I tried to write, like, the hardest bluegrass song I could think of. And we're working on it. It's nice. going to be good. It'll take some time, but we got it. It's totally bluegrass. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, we're going to get to our game. And our game, we have played this before on the show, and I'm very excited. It's a fun thing to do when we have enough people. And it's called oh. Sing and End Charades. We're singing and Charades. Graphic by me. It's by taking things off the internet and putting them together. <laughs> <sighs> it's a hard like job. It. Somebody has to do it. I'm a font guy. I like find. I, I like d- getting a font, like, you know. Rabbit hole. It's got to be the right you know, font. You know, no. just like start downloading fonts. Found fonts. Like, oh, that's cool. Well, that's cool font. Anyway, can you hear me out there, font people? All right, so the uh, name of the game is Like Charades. Uh, they pick, and there'll be a song title. They pick a card, and then they decide when they get the card whether they're going to charade it or whether they're going to sing it. And if they decide to sing it, they draw from the second set of cards here, and they get a noise, be it boop or bop or doo-wop or whatever. And then you have to sing the song with the noise you pick. And we all and we all guess. You know, it's pretty loose rules. You know what I mean? You can, you know, it's like nobody technically wins. You can keep score if you want. There's loopholes. As long as I don't, yeah, it's more of a guideline <laughs> than a rule. You know. So who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Nick, you want to go first? Sure. Give me a card. All right. All right. All right. Let me fan them out. <laughs> I'll just mix them up and take the top one because they're not fanning properly. Okay. Nick's actually one of my favorite karaoke really? singers. Yeah, he's really yeah. good. It's been a while, though. I have a couple go-tos. You do not know that song. You don't know the song? You probably should. But nice. Well, if you don't know it, I'm going to keep it in the pile because you won't be able to guess, right? Nope. Ooh. <laughs> uh, nice. Let's stop. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. Sing it. Sing it or straight. Sing it. Sing it. All right. Now, here's my favorite sing. part of this game. Nick you remember what sing. I said? Yeah, if you don't sing, you're yeah. a bitch. <laughs> you don't sing, you're a bitch. <laughs> Dude, so what? Oh, now I picked the one. Okay. Now you pick. All right, there we go. And you can tell us what is your sound. Or the tell word. You can, <laughs> yeah. You're, we're gonna avocado. Find. Avocado. That's not how you spell avocado, but that's okay. That's okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I'm going to fire that intern. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Avocado is the only thing you can sing, and we have to guess the song. Uh, okay, okay. All right, okay. Avocado. Under pressure. Yeah, that's it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's what I was oh, thinking. Oh, my God. I was thinking of Nirvana song. Nice. Uh, that was nice. Just, so, point to Jack. I didn't want to hear him sing anymore. <laughs> that, 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 that kind of confidence is what we need. That was enough. Man. All right, we'll just, go, we'll just go on. Jack, you're up. Just grab it. Eh, they're sticking together. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, he knows. First, I'm going to sing. You're going to sing. We got a bunch of singers. Nick's challenge. My sing dingers, am I right? (laughs) (laughs) Oh. 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 All right. Papa, Papa. Papa, Papa. Oh. Papa, Papa. Hey, yeah, Creep by Radiohead. Yes. That little half step, I was like, ah, yeah. ah there it is. <laughs> My papa is not a creep. I just want to make that <laughs> clear. <laughs> papa uh, creep. Totally normal. Totally normal. Normal guy. Great man. Uh, papa papa normal. Sounds good now. Nice. The sound is back just in time for singing and trades. <laughs> <laughs> singing and trades. All right. Pressure's on. There's only three left? No, there's a ton. <laughs> Oh, I don't, ah, uh, man. All right. Oh, nah. We got enough. Right. We could never do all these in the time allotted, so. All right, well, we'll make it. And we all have a lot of vastly different musical knowledge. All right, give me the, I'm singing too. He's singing. Yeah. And then once, mix, mix, mix. There we go. What is your sound you can make, sir? Pow. Pow. Singing, right. singing the key. All right, pow. you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. The song is Peaches by Presence of Night Six of America. Yeah, that's what, that's what I said. It's the Peaches song. Yeah, Peaches. So point to Alex. You got it. Well, I don't get any points. Oh, well, yeah. You, oh, you already got the mic. Yeah. Everybody gets points. Yeah, I got I got this mic. Or no points. Oh, I said it's the yeah, Peaches song, right? The same thing, right? So, like, if everybody matters, then nobody matters. By the precedence. <laughs> man. <laughs> man, it's all relative. Yes. All right, the precedence. Alex? Okay. Mm. We're gonna pass. Pass. Passing on it. That's okay. Mm, I guess I'm gonna pass. Hold on, there's another one under it. Oh. Alex doesn't know any music. Wow. It's hard. To, I don't even know it. Oh, he doesn't know How it does man. anyone know this music, man? Come on, know. man. I can't even. I'm gonna look at what that was. 90s, man. I know okay, that. I'll sing this one. I know that. Of course you do. You wrote them. I ri- I did. I've written all the songs. I'll sing this one. Okay, singing. Singing and charades. What a glorious feeling. Whoop. Picard Day. What's the uh? Okay. Okay. What's the sound? What is the sound? It's ding dong. That's <laughs> fitting. Oh, yeah. Ding dong. <laughs> Straight. The sing ding dongs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Bunch of gr- okay, uh, yep, ready to go. Ding dong, ding dong, ding. Ding dong, ding dong, ding. Is it a Christmas song? No, it's, uh, I'm not doing it enough. Ding dong, ding dong, ding. Oh, is it, uh, hold on. Uh, you're pretty close. Ding dong, ding. No, it's good. It's not close. I'm gonna agree about it. It's a. Uh, it's something that that Brett would probably know, but I can't do the. I can't do it just right. Well, if you'd like to switch to charades. Oh, you gotta give okay. it a shot. Mm. Let's see. Let's see it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how that can be done. You can charades sing while you're charade but, if you'd like. Hence the name. Ooh, I like it. Singing and trade. <laughs> it's one of those songs oh, Brett would play in yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. to get yeah, ladies. Yeah, yeah. Got a little yeah, bit of slack. slack man. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong, ding. <laughs> wow. What you do? You got, you got, <laughs> you got like how many I don't words, know the rest of the... How many words we got on the well, title? Well, it's, uh... <laughs> there's, there's two words in the title. Two words. But it's, right. it's, like, kind of two words, but, uh... I, d- I don't know if there's any other way to do it, you know? I, I think I, I think I'm going to lose this one. But, hmm. yeah, let's just reveal it and let All me right, lose. what is it? What is our... It's Mr. Jones. Oh, oh Mr. Jones. Oh, of course. <laughs> well, I guess we lost. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong, Jones, ding dong. <laughs> you know what, uh, that guy, ding dong, Jones, <laughs> down, the, down the street, ding down, down the road a piece? You know, ding dong, Jones. Oh, let's go back, ding dong, Jones. There, bud. Get it first, 
Would you say that uh, bluegrass bands the say bud more than it. most other bands? What's that? The word bud, or is it a, is it a northern Midwest bud? thing? Bud? bud? It's a... Into it's, Canada? It's definitely a nor northern Midwestern thing. Northern Midwest. Because when I, when I lived in, in Kansas City, people thought calling your, <laughs> your friends buddies was weird. Well, it's not. So, but it's right. not. But, <laughs> but it's not. So they weren't your buddies? No, they were my pals. <laughs> All right, Nick, again, you ready? Oh, oh, we're still doing it. Oh, we're doing one more round, and then, okay, we'll, and then right, we'll go. Right, right, Man, it's I'm very entertaining this again. This, yeah. well, this is, oh, that's uh, the sound. So if, the sound. Well, well, hold on to it just in case. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to sing it. So. <laughs> yeah, know, I'm like, going to sing. Oh. <laughs> Do you know it? <laughs> How are you feeling? Let's get, just let's throw me another one. <laughs> that one's that one's gonna be difficult. Yeah, give her a toss. I feel yeah, like throwing the cards is, yeah. is the most fun. That's more thing. authoritative. Ooh, yeah, just one more. Just one more. more. <laughs> I told I I was I was thinking like we should just pick songs like that we don't. Don't want to find myself in a Mr. Jones situation. Oh, dude. I don't know that at all. We don't listen to <laughs> it. All right, you get one more, and then right, you have right. to charade. Give, give me one more. Okay, okay. Because there's still words that are, it makes sense. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude, this sounds going to be good. Okay. <laughs> Does he have the... All right, you all ready? Yeah. yeah. What's your noise? Ha, ha. Ha, ha. What you laughing at? You right, laughing at us. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Ha 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 ha
Yeah, yeah, don't bring that up, man. <laughs> Come on, you gotta bring that up, man. What's your noise? <laughs> it's Tootsie. Tootsie? <laughs> yep. Tootsie. Okay. Feel free to say. No. 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 No, 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 it's a, it's a, like a but 90s thing. Yeah, that's our all 90s. Oh, that's chilly oh, oh, I think I know it. Is it Green Day? Yeah. Yeah. You guys know the song? When I Come Around, right? <laughs> Nice. All right. Singing in charades. Oh, hey, Will Shields guessed it before I did. <laughs> Will Shields. So you Thanks, did it well Will. enough. So you got, you know. Well, what, when there's a will, there's a way. When there's a will, there's a <laughs> Nate. Then tag Nate way. <laughs> so not a total loss. Thanks. Stringing, stringing in charades. <laughs> oh, see. I like it when names go together. Um, but now we are done with our game for today. Thank you for tuning in uh, to the game segment and playing. We're going to now watch our second music video, and this is a String Dingers video from the first album. Yes. Yes. And the song is called Coffee, and you can tell us anything you'd like before the video, if there's anything people should watch for, or you can wait till after. If you well, have one thing I'd like to facts. point out about it is, uh, well, it's our first video, but Will Lundberg helped us out a lot by filming it in his parents' barn where he grew up. And uh, that was awesome. So we'd love to thank his whole family for that. And it may or may not be about coffee. Coffee? <laughs> what do you think? I see hay in your future. <laughs> That's right, down, without further ado, this is String Dinger's first music video ever from their first album, second album coming out next week. This is Coffee. Kept me up all night I won't change anything about you I know you'll taste just right Hot to the touch as always I won't let you burn me this time If you're not with me I go down the street with two dollars and a dime I'll take it as hard as you can make it I'll take it as true I'm just singing about coffee, bitch, you thought I was singing about you. Well, there's nothing like wake with you beside me. I step from a shower into your arms. Your gentle aroma fills my living room And you're here saying do me no harm We can do anything together We can travel or just sit on the couch Your moon stays strong in the crummy weather And you swing and dance in your creamy blouse I'll take it as hard as you can make it I'll take it as true I'm just singing about Coffee, bitch, you thought I was singing about you
it as hard as you can make it. I'll take it, it's true. I'm just singing about the coffee, bitch. You thought I was singing about you. I'm just singing about coffee, bitch. You thought I was singing about you. Hello, we're back with String Dingers, if you're just tuning in. String Dingers are here in support of their album release party at hey. Ice House next Friday with White Iron Band, pre-party with Feeding Leroy, and a bunch of uh, Minnesota all, uh, bluegrass, not necessarily even bluegrass all-stars, just a bunch of our friends. <laughs> Jay Lentz, Max Graham, they're just Olivia. All, they're all-stars. They're all-stars to me, in, in my heart. In general. In my, yeah, they're all-stars in the sky. So, <laughs> let's go back, let's go back up and get to know String Dingers a little bit. How long have you been a band? About all, pushing six. Six years? Yep. As, as the lineup like, that, that yeah. we've been. Like, Technically longer. Right? Yeah. These guys have been, been playing together for way long. So how did that start? Like, what was the formation? Like, is there a, a two people that started and then it branched off? Yep. So, yeah, I can comment on that. Brett and I grew up on the same street in Rochester. In Rochester. Yeah, so uh, that's where we did our middle school, high school. Nice. And then we went off to college, and uh, st I started playing guitar a little bit in college, and I knew Brett played, so I'd call him back, call him up on the breaks, and we'd just jam on Grateful Dead. So that's, that's how we started playing. We like, <laughs> that, every yeah. time we came back together on a break, we were kind of into the same music, but yeah. on, you know, not talking to each other about it, so it was kind of cool that way. Nice to just go apart, separately, kind of learn the same music, and then come back together. Pretty much, Except yeah. Except you didn't know you teach. That's cool. We so both. when did either of you hook up with these guys? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it's hard to say exactly the year at this point. Because, <laughs> they kind of blur together. Yeah. But, 14? 15? Yeah, it was probably 2014. Ooh, yeah. 13, I, 14, 15, dude. Can't separate <laughs> them in my mind. <laughs> I did a but, lot of the same stuff. Gets but yeah, I, I started jamming with these guys because I, I moved back to town. I was living in Kansas City before that. And uh, like, I got hooked up with, uh, with Jack and Mandolin because he sat in with the Burbillies and I played in the Burbillies. So, best uh, band in the world. Like, yeah, the best band in the whole goddamn universe. <laughs> but uh, we started jamming together, and then he was like, dude, uh, y you have to meet Brett. You guys have like uh, similar similar styles, but like very different. You do, and, it, and you'll love playing together. Same, same, but different. And yeah, same, same, but different. And uh, I happened to meet Brett at three three one, and we pretty much just decided before jamming together that we were gonna uh, jam in a band together, and it seems to be working out pretty yeah. good. So I'm into it. I'm into it. And then, in and the then uh, I, I was playing in, in Basement Brew oh, with, yeah. with Nick. That's yeah. That was first. Like, and right then I, after I got out of college and yep. got out of that sad uh, post-rock phase, I was like, <laughs> I like, I like jam music. I like uh, some hardcore blues. I actually met Kevin Folk. Oh, there Everybody you go. Everybody in the scene knows Kevin That'll Folk. That'll get you into He's real like quick. amazing guitar player, right? And yeah, him and Alex uh, formed this really amazing group called Basement Brew. R.I.P. But maybe we'll resurrect it someday. Sure, they played Freebird in Black uh, but anyway, 2018. Yeah, right. I was there. Free yeah, uh, Freebird Bird Land. Land. Freebird. Yeah, no, it was like yeah, that was. And then Bobby was freaking out. Yeah. I had to turn my That's golf cart around. That's something that Bobby would freak out about. Like, no sure. way. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah. Um, and Alex was like, yeah, "Hey, I know these guys. I know these guys who play some some bluegrass." Uh, jam stuff and you should meet them like yeah I want to jam with everybody. It's fun to have like the electric fretless element in it separates the music a little bit. Yeah. Well, we had like Joe, he Joe Sheehan for a little bit and and then he joined Kind Country and we were like man what are we gonna do and and I was like well maybe Nick could play some bluegrass and then Nick uh, just tried out bluegrass and was good at it right off the bat so Weird. we yeah, were Nick? like alright. Wouldn't believe like, it. Let's a lot of extra notes, but yeah, I could keep a rhythm. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Throw yeah, some so flair. Yeah. All right, so let's yeah. talk about the album. Dealing with the Devil, second album. How's it different from Different Kind of Ride? Like, what's the, like, was the process different? Was the, do you write all the songs together instead of, how'd it work? Like, what's the, yeah. 
Like I mean, it was like, it was different in a, in a lot of ways, just because the our first album we were just kind of figuring out what to do with the recording process and whatnot, and the second album we also added uh, the country aspect with with the Jack learning pedal steel and, yeah. and Brett playing a, a Telecaster too, so we kind of had a total total different approach to the new album. So, so there's more like electric instruments on the new there, album? There is, but at, at the same time, it's it's definitely a, a bluegrass, jamgrass kind of album. Nice. But uh, it, we had a lot more direction going into this album, and uh, and I think uh, I think more skills, too. Well, so, that, that's the goal, right? <laughs> so it, 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 was, it was easier to get through it, and it was uh, we had a lot more direction and a, a country twang thing going on which was fun yeah i think i think this album the first one i i really liked uh it was a good first album for us because we didn't do one when we sucked you know we waited <laughs> nice you know Thank so God. Uh, <laughs> that went well had to change your name yeah, we, had, we, had Corey, we had Corey hess uh with the cedar tone yep. studio cedar tone. He, he rocks man cedar tone but uh the second one i'm i love because it's uh it's very dynamic you know it it it's not just one style it'll take you for a ride so it, it it's gonna be fun to listen to yeah and it's written as as an album like it it's meant to be listened to front to back it's it oh no, longer. I, I love that it's longer. like, con, like it's not, a, not like yeah having intention behind it. even if it's not a story but like i love concept albums or just like intention behind song to song to song to song to take you on a journey like that's my favorite thing it's a lost art a little bit these days because there's a couple. Of, and single. There's a, it's hard to uh, avoid the temptation of like just getting your music out regularly and content. All there's the a couple songs too on the album that that go into the next song Perfect. and whatnot. I love so, that. so yeah, it's definitely meant to be listened to. As and you're a playing whole. all the songs at the Ice House, and some of them today. Not. I don't think we're going to be playing all the songs. No. There's one we forgot in the set and we just left it off yeah well, and then when people get the album and you know it's kind of nice weird. if you can get the album at the show and there is a song maybe two that you didn't hear exactly you can hear it for the first time on the recording that's cool so what about the show anything special you can say or do you want to leave it all uh open? we we have uh some fun sit-in stuff going on the the pre-party at pimento is going to be uh, super fun. Yeah, pimento dude. pick in pregame party. Pimento, yeah. pre -game, pimento pick in pimento pregame party no, with the pimento chicken kicking, Piper, finger licking Piper, jerk boys. Peter Piper <laughs> picked a pimento party. And then party. And, pro and, and we gotta talk for a second about your promo videos. You have a history of doing pretty, uh, pretty like you know what's the word for it? You know, details. You know, like ridiculous, <laughs> like but very you know well <laughs> executed, planned ridiculous videos you want for galactic get down the most recent one wasn't didn't seem i mean it was trey did trey do that on well, his he own? just yeah he just did that right? on his own so he like shout like, out like to he got trey, that yeah like, shout out to trey down. shout out to trey and also like he but he's like these guys always do ridiculous promo videos i'm gonna do one for them you know i mean we've kind of built up this like yeah i think it was just a, ni a nice friend surprise yeah, that's you know that's nice trey's trey's super awesome i've gotten yeah, to know him a lot better check that video out and give it a share because you can get a free ticket win then. tickets <laughs> yep so, so does like do you all come up with the ideas when you're just hanging out, drinking hams? Like, what are your favorite ideas? Any ideas you wanted to do but couldn't? We're we're oh, really we got, we got a whole full. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. we're really good at vibing off each other and and coming up with really stupid things that we think are funny. Well, yeah, but it's relatable. You know what I mean? It's so it's, if it's stupid funny, like I mean, I like that. You know what I mean? I like things that are stupid and funny. That's why I like it. You know? Well, it's, we we like that because I I I do think most of the things we think are most funny, most people. Might not yet. <laughs> That's it's like something sort of like but, a club. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a club. It's a funny club. But you get it. I get, you it. get it. Yeah, I, I do have. That one. might not be good, but it might be. That's I mean, just a test. We know everyone thinks this shit's I, funny. I yeah. have an idea. <laughs> funniest guys in the world. Ask anybody. The I'm funniest. trying to sell these guys on it. I I built a pedal board out of Legos. It was kind of a slight dream of mine. You know, I don't. <laughs> It was really Slide fun. It was a lot of work, come but on. it's a solid pedal board. You know, solid. if you're at you the show, the come on. Unless you take the pieces yeah. No, apart, I didn't glue them. I, I use them. I <laughs> use them. I got to rebuild it every time. It's on my pedal steel guitar, <laughs> so if you're at the uh, gig, the check CD release, come check it out. I got little, yeah, little definitely figurines come on it, too. At it's pretty ice awesome. awesome. I, I won't deny it. But I want to start making Lego videos. Yeah, like that White Stripes video. Stop action. 
Oh yeah, and if you go yeah. to the Pimento Pick and Pre Party, uh, pay the five dollar cover, you get five bucks off the album. Yep. Right. So it's essentially free because you were gonna buy the album anyway, right? Right. And, and we then, got stamps, so so we know if we're you're stamp there. Or you. not. Triple stamp. <laughs> Uh, 2020 plans, anything you want to mention before we get to the music? Galactic Get Down! Yeah. Party in space! Yeah. Space party, space party. We, we're yeah. planning on uh, getting in the studio for a single and also nice. doing a country album. We got a, we got a backup uh, songs we've written in a good nice. amount of country we want to get out there too. Yeah, we're trying to keep up with the songs that, that we're writing, which is tough because so when, when you have mu- you when yeah when you have out. multiple people writing it's it's hard to uh, keep up with uh, with all the songs that people are coming up with so we're that's what we're trying that's to do that's a good problem to have though when I mean, like get together and be like who wrote a song nobody yeah Shit. we hope it's a continuous <laughs> problem <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome all right well sweet i'm excited everybody make sure calendars buy your tickets right now online if you're you know smart they're cheaper and you'll have them ready to go just have your name on a list it's great uh, otherwise we're going to Put up a little promo image. I'm gonna get out of here. We're gonna grab instruments and play some music. Don't go away.
So this one uh, is a true story. It's called First One to Call. It's on, all these we're doing are on the new album. And this one's about, you know, uh, dating, dating someone a bit, and then you don't contact them for a while, and they don't contact you. And after a while, you're like, you know, I'm not going to be the first one to do this. And you know they're thinking the same thing, hopefully, anyway, in this case. And it never happens. Uh, and I think that's for the best in this case. But people have that. So anyway. One, two, three. Well, I just can't move on from this feeling. So strong, can't remember how we took the fall. Well, stubborn I am, I'm just that kind of man, and I won't be the first one to call. I'm colder than a clear northern night Fell off without a cause It's been so long But I've seen some pretty girls since then And it ain't those red lips So they go pay an Alex and a Brett song coming up, so we're going to do Alex first. Don't let it be. <laughs> hey, we'll do an Alex song. This one actually has a Telecaster and Pedal Steel on the album. Yeah, usually, so we're, we're pulling an audible. Done tuning before. I'm, pre I'm pretending <laughs> yeah, to be a banjo right now. <laughs> you always pretend to be a banjo. Yeah, banjos take forever to tune. Usually. Today, maybe not. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> he does have more strings, we'll give him that. I ain't got patience. Got time, I ain't got no answers. You spite your tongue, 
I'm going to find hard boots and I'm going to lose some of the gun. Well, I'm shaking my pockets, just trying to scrounge up change. This place in town, I trim my pennies for a little strange. Well, sometimes I find good folks, sometimes they're miles away. Hit the water and hold on, I'm on my way. Well, I watch the cars screech by the city motors. I'm going in my skin on some soggy boots. Well, I miss a few phone calls from you, no. I reckon just keep on moving, that's what I'm going to do. Cause I ain't got the patience. You ain't got the time. I ain't got no answers. You should bite your tongue. Son of a gun. Everybody? Get in here. Oh, I'll play nice. I'll play nice. Nice and right. Play nice. Nice and right. One, two. Our pupils have the blue in my eyes. They're just holding space, neighborless to take their place. I'm high. I'm not coming down. I can't see the ground where I'll stand.
dark as night, only can light. Memories, cobwebs, I'm keeping out of sight. It's so quiet, I'm not listening anyway. Where the music never stops, it's stopping today. You can catch them this, not this, next Friday at the Ice House with White Iron Band. Got a whole night full of 31st, baby. 31st of January. New yeah. album, Dealing with the February. Devil, will be out the day of or after online. Day after, day but after. it'll be available for purchase during and the one, show. One yeah, you can buy the too. show, and it's the very first chance to get it. Otherwise, you got to wait until the next day to listen online. One thing I don't think we mentioned, uh, Feeding Leroy is playing the pre Feeding pre Leroy is playing the pre-party. They kick ass, man, they so do. you're going to want to see that. Lee Martin is one of my favorite people in the oh, whole yeah. world. A lot of ass. He's a fellow <laughs> pedal steel player, so. Yeah. Uh, a lot of ass. A lot of ass. Oh, yeah. All right, and then coming up next week for Smoking Joe Show, we have Mankato's finest, Irie Mines, will be in the studio, uh, funk and reggaeing it up. They'll be at Galactic Get Down this year as well. So make sure to come back, same place, same time, 7 p.m. every Thursday, pretty much. Thanks again, dudes, and I will play us out. Woo! You, Joe. Bye. Because I'm with you through thick and thin Whatever trouble you are in I don't care whatever you do Just know that I love you Oh, oh, oh I love you You know, sometimes you got trouble so many troubles They're getting you down But you don't have to worry About your troubles No more Cause Well I'll always be around I'll, Because I'm with you Through thick and thin Whatever trouble you are in I don't care whatever you do Just know that I love you Whoa. I love you